The shadows starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here, and we're underway on EA Sports. And it'll be set up a good field position here as he gets this up past the 40 yard line. I was going to say, if you drew it up, you couldn't have drawn it a whole lot better. That's exactly how you want to start the game. Excellent momentum off the opening kickoff. So here are the Titans now for their first drive. They're led out by the southpaw to a tongue of Iloa. It is third season now out of the University of Alabama. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game was talking to a guy who takes ownership of his performance. Two touchdowns, two interceptions last week, but all he focused on was the loss, okay? And he did say, if I change my stats a little bit, not necessarily for me to look better, but that'll help my team. And they'll run it. This is James Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Now here's Robinson again on second down. And he'll be tackled at the 45 following a gain of just two. Two yards on the first down carry and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. Gets this into the hands of Nikhil Harry. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A big play there on the catch and run. And it'll result in a fresh set of downs. So a first and 10 now in Denver territory at the 27. On first and 10, it's Robinson. Down to the 22-yard line. With the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Broncos are going to get it back here just shy of the 20. So problems with Aaron passing continuing. Remember, he threw two picks in the loss last week, and now another here in this first quarter. And sometimes, partner, this is the result of a quarterback who's simply trying to do too much. Feels like he's trying to make up for what he did last week, and he can't do it all on one throw. down and they're going to throw with Allen. And a quick throw here. That's complete. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there and it's a first down. The Broncos at 6-2 and two to start play. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. On second down now, it's Willis. And he's going to have a Broncos first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. 
That O line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot, getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. So it goes as a completed pass, but they lose a full five yards. No score after one on EA Sports. Looking to throw again on second down. Allen flush to his right. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Doesn't matter whether it's a zone coverage or man coverage, the drag route can be effective when it's run well. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Up the middle they go. Willis. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. To the air, Allen. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Now a handoff up the middle. It's Willis. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Here's Hallett. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Xavier McKinney credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Chances are good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in his opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? And incomplete. They tried to drop it off, but he couldn't hold on. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and as a result, it'll be Titan football on the turnover on downs. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure, you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. Good, strong, explosive run that started inside, which means you've got to control those defensive linemen, the defensive tackles, the nose guards. Those guys have to be controlled. How about the offensive line, the job they just did? Yeah, key that A-gap usually on those runs, right? That's where it all starts because everyone wants to kind of control that area. It disrupts things from the defensive side and the offensive side. As we just saw, it opens up possibilities. Buying time to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Two are going to try and go quickly here. To a hit, and the ball is out. But it looked like the Titans were able to recover, and indeed, they will keep possession of the ball. 
Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Going to the air, Tugavailoa. To the right side and complete to Metcalf. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Tress Way on fourth down is sent out to punt. Only two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets this one away. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And the Broncos take over, first down and 10. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Allen now looks to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Throwing on first down is Allen. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. Partner, there's a downside to everything, and the danger of man coverage is if you're locking down your target, you often turn your back to the quarterback, and you don't see him. Sometimes you open up a big lane for him to hit you for big yardage, and that was an astute play by him to scramble out, see that lane, and burn them for a first down. And he will have a first down here as they get into field goal range, down just shy of the 20. Now the Broncos going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. To throw, it's Allen. Throwing right, and that's complete. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They'll roll him out right. Touchdown, Broncos! Ryan Tannehill as the first half is winding down. And the Broncos have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. So that really an almost perfect drive as they chew up some clock and wind up scoring late in this first half. And remember, they've got a chance to double dip here because they're going to get the ball first to start the third quarter. So they potentially could go up two scores before the other guys get a chance to do anything. They'll look to throw. It's caught. And it's 8-0. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. And sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercept and it's returned by the defense, that's two points for them. But he identified an open target and put it right on him. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. Meanwhile, to his throw, taken in by London. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. Tua, a final shot before half. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And incomplete on the deep ball. 
So one touchdown, one two-point can pass the halfway point of the season and now pass the halfway point of this game. We skip halftime and get right back to the action. Set to begin the third quarter. Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as he'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and ten. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Up the middle they go. It's Willis. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to convert, albeit not by much, on third and a yard. On play action, Allen. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I'll guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 54 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Here's Allen to throw it. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops and escape this drive. To throw once more on second and 10. Allen, and he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans 19. A gain there of 21 yards. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good try. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So erase the red zone score. They'll have to dial that one up again. And you know how difficult it is to strike in the red zone because things are a little bit more condensed. You gotta go back to their play chart and see if they can dial up another one. On first down, Allen. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Dancing to his left. 
And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Josh Allen taking it in from four yards out. And the Broncos are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone. And the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two. And that's something you almost never see nowadays. When you fake it, you're at the 15-yard line on a PAT as opposed to just going for it from the two. I'm sorry. I know they got it, and congratulations to them. But it's just not a good play. I mean, the, the risk-reward is really off the charts. Not in your favor. Run your offense out there. Put it on the two-yard line if you want to go for two. But I'll be darned. They ended up getting that one, didn't they? Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all, because we're talking about the NFL, and teams can score fast in this league. Quick strikes, you're right back in it. You're exactly right. Keeping hope alive. They'll run this one right with Robinson. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw him right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Got his man. That's Harry. And he will have a Titans first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. Got a man, it's London. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Here's second and a yard. Looking to pass, Tua. Over the middle, that's caught by Harry. And this is going to be another first down as they'll make the tackle at the Broncos' 15-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Tua. And this one too low. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Throw left side complete to Harry. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Two and a throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Well, they knew a lot of steps had to happen here. They got step one, the touchdown. You need a two-point conversion here, don't you? You do, and as you continue to look ahead, if you're able to get that, somehow get the ball back and get another score, they have to go for two again. That's why teams are practicing multiple two-point plays. We saw that in Super Bowl 51 with the Patriots getting a pair of big two-point conversions. And now the pressure gets there, and he goes down. So he couldn't get rid of the football, and that deficit stays right where it is. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Broncos are going to get the football. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play.
Allen to throw. Steps away. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. I'm looking at this one with my defensive eyeglasses on because you remember the old days when a tight end saw a linebacker covering him and thought he had a mismatch? But the way they can run nowadays, not necessarily so. They gave it a shot downfield. That one incomplete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. is actually going to throw it here. And this is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. To throw is Allen. Eluding the pressure right. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down short of the first right around the 15-yard line. Short completion, just four yards, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Touchdown! Matt Corral, a five-yard touchdown. And the Broncos are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth-quarter lead. So, obviously, they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The third time wasn't a charm. They got the first two two-point tries. Still have the lead, but couldn't get the third. Okay, so they didn't get this one, but I have to ask you, what matchup are they seeing that they feel that confident to go for two so often? Yeah, and we talk about this a lot, but it has to be something, you're right, that they saw all week, correct? Definitely game plan for it. Felt good about being aggressive and going for it. And right up until that one, they got two for two. And they will elect to decline the penalty. Everything turned out the way they wanted it to. No sense in even having to take that one. Hence the decline. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Tua. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Well, they've certainly had trouble unlocking this defense through three and a half quarters. So I don't expect them to get any easier now. You know they're going to be sitting back and waiting on everything. And they force an incompletion there. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Tua. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Gesicki. 